Kay Onda, thanks for watching Doing Life with Jenny. If you're new here, in June of 2023, I moved from St. Louis in the US to Mexico to the state of Hidalgo. If you've been around for a while, you know I bought my land without really being familiar with the city. I had never been to my city before coming to see my land. Now I will say I am one that adapts pretty easily to wherever I go. But now that I've been here for almost eight months, do I actually like my city? The short answer is yes, I'm actually very happy with my decision. So today I'm going to walk you through all of the reasons that I like it here. And honestly, I haven't seen any negatives so far, except for there is a lot of trash um, where like there's empty lots. People kind of dump their trash there at times. More so, more so on the outskirts of the city, they keep the center nice and clean. So let's start with my actual neighborhood. When I first came to see my land and all of the times I came back to visit it before moving here, I thought the area was pretty underdeveloped. <coughs> there really wasn't anything on my street except for the neighbor that's in front of me, an abandoned house on the corner that is now occupied by homeless people. So if this is my street, and then there's a street that runs perpendicular, this street does have quite a bit going for it. There's like small businesses and homes. But on my street, there's nothing, and it looked like there really wasn't anything back here either. Well, once I moved here and started walking the dog around, I figured out there's another main street back here that runs parallel to this one that's actually a, that's actually a very developed neighborhood. Lots of shops, lots of homes, a school, a church. So if I had to, I could live off of everything right here in my neighborhood. They have corner stores that have basic groceries, snacks. They have a few produce stands. I'm vegan, but they do have some like chicken vendors, lots of tortilla shops. And a lot of these corner stores like sell like shampoo and toilet paper and all of your basics. So I was pleasantly surprised. My, my neighborhood is very walkable and the city itself is very walkable. I am not in the center, nor am I in a neighborhood that like borders the center, but I do walk to the central uh, once in a while. It takes me maybe 25, 30 minutes. And then the center itself is extremely walkable. I can also walk to the bus station, to Soriana, which is one of the major grocery chains in Mexico. I can walk to Arrera, which is another grocery store. I can walk to the movie theater. I can walk to the market. See, in my town, they have like a covered market that's open every day. I don't know about Sundays, maybe. Um, but it's pretty much open every day. And then they have the Tianguis, which is like the outdoor market um, a couple days a week. I don't want to give too many details because I don't want you all finding out where I live. Okay, so while we're on the topic of what stores we have, we also have Coppel and Electra, which are similar to Sears when they existed in the US. They kind of have um, TVs. What do you call those? Electrodomesticos? Um, you know, like the stove and the fridge. What do you call those? Appliances? We have a good handful of banks and several oxos. So that's kind of how you know if there is civilization where you're living in Mexico, is if you have those types of stores. Because there are towns that don't have banks, they might just have an ATM or nothing at all. And in Mexico, you do need to go to the bank kind of frequently, primarily because they do use a lot of cash here. And of course, I knew my town had a lot of these things before moving here because I looked at the location of my land on the map to see if it was in a walkable area because that was very important to me. As I've said before, I'm not going to be having a car long term. Yeah, so I really feel like I have everything I need here. There are, there's a hospital, there might be two hospitals, lots of pharmacies. There's like a pharmacy on every corner and the pharmacies have walk-in clinics. I was even surprised that there's like a little like organic slash health food store that has things I didn't expect to find because they're like ritzy people food or vegan people food or if you speak Spanish food for like fresas. Things like chia seeds, hemp seeds, cacao nibs, tofu. So I was presently surprised that I don't have to go to Pachuca for that. The next thing I love about my city is the climate. 45 degrees Fahrenheit is the low year-round. 
Of course, it can get lower, it can get into the 30s once in a while. Around 78 is the high for the year. And again, it can get hotter. That's the average. Because it will never fail, there will be someone in the comments, well, when I went, it was 90 degrees. Yeah, that happens once in a great while. It's not the norm. I also kind of knew the following before moving here is that my city, I don't know if it's a city or a town, like what's the cutoff? Like it's a small city, large town, I don't know. It's kind of like the hub for the area. So like all of the little surrounding communities come here to work or to shop, which means there are more amenities and more access to things. So of course the bus system is amazing in Mexico. I feel like it's getting a little pricey, but I've been surprised at the frequency and the variety, I guess the variety of cities that the buses go to from my town. I thought I would have to go to Pachuca more often and then from Pachuca go to where I actually need to go. But no, we have buses that go to Querétaro, buses that go to even Morelia. Last time I checked, not even Pachuca had buses that go to Mar Morelia. There's a bus to Pachuca about every 15 minutes and there's a bus to Mexico City about, yeah, between every 15 and 30 minutes too. I'm between an hour and a half and two hours from Mexico City, which really I'm a city girl at heart, but I feel like it's very reasonable to just get on the bus early, like by seven o'clock, eight o'clock, relax on the ride there, go exploring for the day, and then get back on the bus around 7 p.m. And then the other good thing is that the bus that takes me to Pachuca, you can get off at a few spots, like, some buses are direct, but they do allow a couple of stops. Some buses are not direct and there are several stops along the way. But my bus to Pachuca gets me off in the perfect spot where I can walk to the vegan restaurant. I can walk to two malls and then also another like shopping plaza. There are probably a lot more shopping plaza. Well, there's there are a lot more shopping plazas, but like one of the bigger ones. Um. At one of those malls that you have Walmart, there are there are several Mega or Hyper Sorianas. I can walk to the soccer stadium. It's just a very, very good location um, because that was a bit of a concern for mine is that I would have to pay to take the bus and then pay to take a taxi once I got to Pachuca. But for the most part, I can usually just get off at that stop and walk wherever I need to go. The other thing I like about my city, and no offense, is that there are no other gringos that I know of. Um, I have met a few people that are Mexicans born in the U.S. and they have come back to visit their family because they're from here or have moved back because their family is from here. I've been told by the restaurant that I translated a menu for that there are quite a few tourists that come through to see the church and to eat at their restaurant. And I don't know what else. I would not consider this a tourist destination at all, but definitely there are lots of things to do in my state as far as like Pueblos Magicos and water parks, Las Grutas de Tolantongo. But anyway, as far as people living here, I think I'm the only one. Um, there are a few Colombian and Venezuelan immigrants, maybe some Central Americans too. But that was really important to me is to not go where all of the other foreigners are going. One, because I don't want to feel like I'm changing Mexican culture, right? I came here to live in Mexico, not to live in like little America, just like sometimes cities have little Chinatown. And also I didn't want to contribute to gentrification. Like, of course there are people that see me and like, oh, she must have money, but I usually know better. And also since I'm kind of a rarity, it's more like taking care of a guest instead of, oh, all of these Americans moving here. Two more points. I also chose this location because of the low crime rate. Yes, there is crime, but it's more like maybe people stealing from the store or the market. Maybe someone trying to grab your phone out of your pocket. Um, car thefts are kind of common. It almost happened to me. Be sure to watch that video. Maybe home break-ins, but like as far as violent crimes, like murders, kidnappings, not so common here. And then lastly, the people. The people have been incredible. Especially my neighbors, they have been more than helpful, always willing to answer my questions. Like I'm pretty independent, but sometimes like even if you don't move 
abroad, you just move to a new city, it's like, what doctor do you recommend? Or do you know somebody that makes this? That sort of stuff. They've been very helpful with that. But yeah, I am very happy with my decision to choose this town or city and also my neighborhood. Of course, would it be better to live in the center? Perhaps, but maybe I would spend more money since the ice cream is right outside of my door and more restaurants are right outside of my door. And also, I probably wouldn't get a yard for the dog. It would probably just be like a patio. But yeah, that's really all I have to say on the topic. I won't be doing a furnished house tour anytime super soon because I'm still waiting on the carpenter to come do my closet. If you missed my video about homes in Mexico, <coughs> closets are not part of the construction. Like you don't make walls, like you don't build walls to make a closet there. You do like armoires or like built-ins. And he's supposed to come mid-February. So in Mexican, that probably means like mid-March. So we'll see. But as soon as he comes, and I put my stuff away where it belongs, then we'll do the furnished house tour. If you'd like to see more content about me living in Mexico, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Adios.